The world of higher education is watching and waiting for a Supreme Court decision that could impact the role race plays in college admissions with ripple effects for students across the country. Avia Joy Burnett takes a look at the battle that has been tied up in the courts since 2014. A near decades long battle on whether race should be considered when colleges decide what students to admit is now on the cusp of being decided in the U.S. Supreme Court. We believe that a student's race should not be used to help them or harm them in seeking admission to any college or university in the country. In 2014, Edward Bloom, founder of Students for Fair Admissions, sued Harvard College and the University of North Carolina. He said a race-conscious admissions process puts Asian American students at a disadvantage while accepting less qualified white, black, and Latino students. When you go to apply for a job, your, your race or your ethnicity shouldn't be used as something that is going to be used to reject you or to accept you. Same thing with higher education. Bloom said over the years, he's talked to Asian American students like Calvin Yang, who believes they were denied access to elite schools because of a quota system that left high performing Asian high schoolers out to ensure a diverse student body. I think the fact that I'm Asian American plays a pretty big factor into why I was rejected. I think admission officers definitely have, I don't know for sure, but either a hard or soft culture on the number of incoming Asian students into uh, the Harvard class of 2025. Harvard declined to comment for the story, but its website said it considers many factors and it does not discriminate against applicants from any group in its admissions processes. And take care of our different communities. Neeti Shaw with Asian Americans Advancing Justice agrees with Harvard's admissions process. Race conscious admissions policies help all Americans and they also overwhelmingly help Asian Americans. It's not about admitting underqualified students. It's picking the best composition of qualified students that will create a safe, diverse campus life for everybody. That's kind of where we need to be thinking about it. Harvard student Tarina Ahuja is concerned that if the justices ruled against the universities, students of color will feel isolated. Getting to find community, getting to find people that are of your identity, that are not of your identity, getting to learn from one another, that is so beautifully important. It's something that's so necessary to our education. A 2019 Pew Research survey found majority of Americans believe race should not be a factor in college admissions, but some say it's impossible to overlook. You can't ignore the elephant in the room. I think race is always central to the conversation and to pretend that it's not, it's just not true. Harvard has vigorously pushed back against the allegations and said it considers a wide range of factors, including academic accomplishments and personal qualities when choosing which students to admit. Avid Joy Burnett, Scripps News, Washington.